some statements are pests all pests are birds no bird is amphibian all amphibians are animals so let's quickly draw the basic diagram for this one some insects are pests so insects pests all pests are birds all pests are birds no bird is an amphibian no word is an amphibian all amphibians are animals let us say amphibian is am and all amphibians are animals right remember no bird is an amphibian clear so that's the basic diagram some insects are pests all the pests are birds no bird is an amphibian so birds and amphibians cannot overlap and all the amphibians are animals now look at the conclusions first one all animal is bird all animals is bird is it possible all animals being bird not possible why see simple if all animals become bird if all the animals have to become bird means what all the animals should come inside birds but the point is if all the animals go inside bird these amphibians will also go inside birds because see amphibians are always inside animals yes or no we have already understood that all the amphibians will be inside animals so the point is if all the amphibians are inside animals and if you take all the animals inside birds just to make sure that all animals are birds what happens amphibians will also become birds but the statements clearly say that birds and amphibians should not overlap so that is the reason all animals is bird would be a wrong conclusion all right next at least some insects are birds at least some insects are birds so again some insects are birds is it possible some insects are birds yes some insects are birds is a definite conclusion right again i need not explain you why all pests are birds so pests can be replaced with birds here some insects are birds right second one definitely follows third one no pests are amphibians no pests are amphibians will this be true no pests are amphibians no pests are amphibians will this be true yes in the basic diagram it satisfies see pests and amphibians do not overlap with each other right so no pests are amphibians is satisfied in the basic diagram but will it always satisfy is the question now right because when a conclusion satisfies the basic diagram you have to check the possible diagrams so here the conclusion has satisfied the basic diagram no pests are amphibians is satisfied here but will it always get satisfied yes it will always get satisfied how can we say that simple logic all the pests will always be inside birds see all the pests are birds so definitely pests will always be inside birds right or at best what can happen pests and birds can become equal both pests and birds can become equal but never will pests becomes will will pests become more than birds are you able to follow all all pests are birds which means what pests will always be inside birds or you know at best what can happen birds and pests can become equal but birds will never cross pests birds will always be inside or equal to pests and you know that no bird is an amphibian so birds and amphibians cannot touch each other right no bird is an amphibian so the point is whatever case you take you will always find that pests and amphibians cannot touch each other right pests will be able to touch amphibians only if they cross birds but you know that they cannot cross birds they will always be inside birds yes or no pest or peas peas will always be inside birds right pea will always be inside birds and because it is always inside birds it cannot touch amphibians right for it to touch amphibians it should cross birds which is not allowed so that is the reason no pests are amphibians satisfies the basic diagram and it satisfies the possible diagrams as well right so conclusion 3 also follows so your answer again will be 2 and 3 follow right 2 and 3 follow option d